Shut up and sit down. Hi, hello. I am the Cyber Roof Guru. Thank you for watching. So this is the introduction to uh, part three of my 100 subscriber giveaway make of the uh, board that we are in the process of making. So what this video is going to be really in large part is just a series of uh, time-lapse videos showing you the process from start to finish. I'll probably um, dub over some audio, maybe explain what's going on, what I'm doing at, at times. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, I hope you enjoy the video and uh, at the end uh, we'll do a wrap-up. Thanks everyone. All right, so this is the CNC machine doing the first pocket. I'm switching the bit. Um, it's doing the inlay. I'm sorry, the engraving, and now it's doing the profile. It's going to do this for quite some time. Um, it's actually about 22 minutes of total cut time on this one here. So uh, next, I'm switching the bit and the collet uh, into the smaller, finer bit, the 16th inch bit for the inlay. Uh, I'm screwing the inlay down, and then I'm going to cut it here. I didn't put the uh, the dust shield on in this case, just going to run it free form and hold the vacuum. Uh, the little 16th inch bit does not create very much dust at all. So next, uh, this is me removing the uh, inlay from the board uh, with the tabs there. I just use a Dremel tool to cut it out. I'm using the X-Acto knife to trim it down a little bit on the inside. And then the uh, same thing going to be for the base here. Use the Dremel to remove it from the base. Uh, trim it down a little bit. Next, I'm going to sand, starting with 60 grit um, and switching to 120 and then ultimately switching over to uh, 220 to smooth it out. Um, and then I do the front, the back, the sides, uh, all the way around with the different grits. So I think this is, uh, yeah, this is the 220 grit, the final grit that I'm going to do here. Um, using the air compressor, blow all the dust off. Next step is to seal it. Uh, the reason we're sealing it is because we're going to paint the letters, so we use some uh, some wood sealer here. You can see I'm drenching it uh, to make sure it gets in all the pores and seals it really well. Then I'll use a, a cloth to wipe off the excess, and then I'll use the air compressor to blow the um, sealant out of the um, out of the letters. Let that dry. Um, sand it down very quickly with a light uh, 220, and then. Uh, Sand it all around actually. I'm going to do the front, back, and sides again. So, um, next we will seal it again. Again, I'm flooding the uh, letters because that's the most important part. Wipe it down and then use the uh, um, air compressor again to blow all the sealant out and let it dry again for at least another couple hours. Next, I'm painting the letters here, just black acrylic craft paint. Uh, use a kind of flat wide brush to go in and paint all the letters. Uh, the, the idea here is to get the, the paint into the deep into the letters, get it as deep as you can, cover everything, but try not to get too much of the paint on the surface of the wood. Um, it's uh, impossible not to get it on the surface of the wood, but that's why we sealed it, uh, so that when we go to the next stage, which is the sanding of the paint off, um, you'll see here with the uh, 220 grits uh, uh, sandpaper, the paint comes off very nicely across the top um, and leaves the paint in the middle. Uh, here I've switched to a 300 or uh, yeah 300 grit uh, sandpaper to really make it super smooth uh, with the final uh, pass here. This is where I'm putting the clear coat on. Um, I'm using a, a semi gloss. Um, after it dries for a few hours, I steel wool it, use steel wool uh, to smooth it out, and then uh, blow it clean again, and then put the second coat of polyurethane on it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, so the total uh, time actually took about 30 minutes on the machine of the different cutting times. Um, took actually about two hours total to do all the cutting, but the, the actual machine time is about 30 minutes. Uh, over the court, it actually took about two and a half, three days to do the total thing because of the drying time of the sealant. I, I usually let the sealant dry for an hour or two, um, and then the polyurethane I let dry for many, many hours. In this case, I let it dry overnight twice. Um, it was just easier. 
So uh, I'll show you the final product. Uh, so this is the back. <laughs> And then there's the front. This is the final product. I think it turned out amazing. Uh, let me see if I can do some magic here with the camera and zoom in. You see here the letters turned out uh, just fantastic. Uh, nice and even and straight, uh, super black and dark. Uh, the inlay, I think, turned out uh, very well here uh, with the figure. This is actually what is known as curly maple um, on a sapile base. Uh, the Sapile, you can see here as I turn it into the light, um, it looks amazing. It, the way it shimmers in the light with that uh, curly maple is just just fantastic. Um, it just looks looks so great. Um, so I think this turned out um, just just amazing. Um, I'll be honest with you, uh, it's a little smaller than I think I would have wanted. It's not terribly large. Uh, but overall, it, it, it turned out very well. I think that, uh, uh, I think that our, our winner will be uh, excited by it. And hopefully we can get some, uh, maybe some pictures or some video of its final resting location. Uh, so I'll work with, uh, work with the winner on that uh, for that. So um, that's it. I, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, this is uh, obviously more CNC uh, than um, 3D printing, but hey, you know, uh, it's a maker space and uh, we do all sorts of maker things and it's not just about 3D printing. So if you like the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up the entire series. If you don't like it, as always, give it a thumbs up. Any questions, leave them down below. Any comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe um, and we'll see you soon. Thanks everyone.